Aries, my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog, and wow, is it cold. It is currently six degrees uh, here in upstate New York, um, and I'm headed into Manhattan to see the Woodsman on this bright Valentine's Day. Now, I did go to see it a year ago, almost, to the, I think it was the 13th last year that I went um, to see it at the, uh, on its closing weekend at the East 59th Street Theater, which is an off-Broadway off theater. Now it's moved to off-Broadway, which is huge and so awesome. Um, last year it was snowing like crazy. So yes, that was a perilous journey. The one to three inches of snow we were supposed to get turned into eight inches of snow and I almost died coming home from the train station. <sighs> But now I'm home, and as soon as I get warm, probably tomorrow, I'll talk to you a little more about the woodsman. And a lot has changed in a year, but um, I'm super excited to go see it again. Um, and uh, I think this is going to be an interesting day. So we'll see. Okay. See you in Manhattan. <laughs> So we are at New York Stages. This is Michael. Say hi, Michael. Hello. So you're so excited to see the Woodsman. Well, my second time, his first time. You excited? I do. I am very excited. I like. Do excited? I do excited. Yes. <laughs> I really I like the soundscape. Isn't it beautiful? Like, yeah. Do you feel like you're out in the forest? I do. It's a very active forest. It seems playful As are all the forests spooky. of Oz. <laughs> They're forests in Oz? I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Is this a new book? So now that you've seen The Woodsman, <laughs> as a director, what would you like to say about it? For those who are not in New York and won't get a chance to see it. <laughs> no, as, um, as I was sharing with you, I mean, what really distinguishes theater is it's all about making something from nothing that and the way that they endow the way that they treat each of those basic items it just that with our imagination just obviously creates this whole world and as you were saying it tells this whole whole story pretty much almost entirely with stylized movement who needs words <laughs> <laughs> who needs words when you can tell so much through movement which they do, and obviously they're using a rich array of puppetry and lighting, and I like how like 99% of the sound was all just human generated, whether, you know, the clicking of fingers, the, the humming, like the sense of this being this rich folk life that all of this comes from. I knew he'd be good to ask. <laughs> it was even better the second time. If you are in New York, make sure you get to see it. If you're not, it's really a shame. But I know that they do bring it around. Uh, it was in the Hamptons last summer. Um, so keep your ear to the ground, and hopefully you'll get a chance to see it. But it's totally <laughs> worth the trip. So make it a point to see it. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, most definitely. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Until <laughs> <laughs>